Vintage is all the rage, and I have this flat glass plate that I would love to turn into a vintage inspired piece of art. So what we're gonna do today is take a flat glass plate, we're gonna put on this vintage bird image that I painted. We're gonna put it on the back of a glass plate permanently, and you'll be able to hang it on the wall, and it is absolutely exquisite. My name is Jenna DeAngelis, welcome to my studio. I've got something in store for you today. The supplies that you'll need for this project include a bowl of water, a plate hanger to hang your finished product, tacky glue, a palette to put your paint on or even just a dinner plate, some white paint, a paintbrush, an X-Acto knife, a piece of black felt, and some laser tran decal paper. You're ready to go. I love this project. What I want to do is Put an image behind glass because anytime you do that you're adding so much dimension to whatever image you're making and I've got this idea for a vintage plate that you could actually use for serving cookies or putting soaps on or something but I want to hang this one on the wall because I think it's gonna look fantastic there's a company in Pennsylvania they're almost a hundred years old they make very very flat glass handmade plates perfect for this project I'll give you the link on my website so that if you'd like to buy specifically these plates, you can as well. So what we're going to do is take this almost flat glass plate and we want to put an image behind it. Now if we took paper and tried to stick it on the back, you're going to get wrinkles all around the corners, right? So what we need is a very thin film with the image on it. Ha! Huh. There's a cool company called Lasertran and what they make is a decal that you can print on in your inkjet printer or I believe they even have laser. This is amazing. So what you're gonna do is go to my website and download this lovely little image that I made and in a flash you just put the laser tran paper in your printer and it comes right out. You let it dry for 24 hours so that the ink is really well set and then when you place the paper in water, it needs to soak for about five minutes and then what happens is the thin layer that you print it on is actually this really thin sheet of plastic and it's going to separate from the paper behind it. So just let the decal soak for a while and the second that you touch it, it separates and then we're ready to hang the image onto the plate. Let me show you how to do this fantastic project. So this is actually that paper I was telling you about. The green-ish side is the paper side. You don't print on that one. You put the white side up, put it in your printer, and out comes this image, and it's just like paper. Now I let mine dry for 24 hours so that the ink stays on there better. And what you're gonna wanna do is depending on the size of the plate that you got, you lay it over and you size it up just the way you want. Then you turn it over, marking the size of that plate, trim out the artwork to fit exactly the size of the plate. Anyway, so I'm gonna frame this image just like this. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and gently cut the size of this plate off of the decal. And I'm gonna go over it twice just so it releases really easily. Now while I'm trimming this out, I have a little story to tell you. All right, we are in the middle of the biggest heat wave that Los Angeles has seen in a long time, and we filmed all day yesterday. As I was doing this craft yesterday, I had to take these really, really sharp bindery needles, right? 
And I took it out and I was making this little booklet. I would love you to watch the video. It's actually a really cool project. Anyway, so I take this needle out and I have to shove it through the paper and then stick it around and then bring it back through and I stick it straight into my thumb <laughs> and it really hurt and I stuck with it. It was 90 degrees in here. I was a trooper and I followed through all the way with the take and there's blood coming out of my thumb and the director says at the end of the take and I quote, that was fantastic. It didn't go over real well here and all I was thinking was, you know what, tonight when I'm in the emergency room getting a tetanus shot from some really mean nurse who's got a grudge because it's so hot outside, it's going to cost him. It's going to really, really cost him. So, exacto knives and needles, beware. I'm holding a grudge. All right, so I've traced around this glass tray and now I'm just going to pop out this image because you don't want to cut this decal once it's wet. So again, cut to size and gently prep it for soaking. So you're going to cut out your perfect little image here. And I like the way that I like the way that that's framed. So this is the fun part. You're going to face up drop the paper into your vat of water and what you're going to see is white dust come off of it. Don't worry, that's just the extra particles that make the uh, inkjet printer work. So just let that sit for 10 or 20 minutes. Don't try to pull it off early. When the paper opens and relaxes, it'll be time to transfer this to your plate. This is the magical part of this project. The laser trend decal paper has been soaking for a little while and now it's completely separated from the decal underneath. So here we go. This is the magic time. You're just gonna lift this really cool bird image off the paper and lay it gently face down onto this glass plate pressing out any little bubbles or creases. This is so much fun. So my son is at uh, summer school for about a month and he's 16 and he calls me and he says, mom, you know how he's into those like unjokes? Well, as it turns out, they're called anti-jokes. So not only am I a loser, now I'm a double loser. So he said, I have a good anti-joke for you. Bring it on kid, I miss you. And he says, mom, what's green and has wheels? I don't know, Nicholas, what's green and has wheels? He said, grass. I was kidding about the wheels. That is so stupid. Which makes him laugh and he loves it. And I said, got any more? And he said, yeah, but I'm saving them for tomorrow. So I apologize in advance. I'll probably tell you a bad one tomorrow. All right, so I have dabbed this plate just a little bit of the excess water. And leave it alone, don't touch it, leave it on paper towel, just as it is, for 24 hours. And that way, all the moisture is gonna dry out of the decal and it will affix itself quite well to the plate at that point. It's not permanent. If you change your mind, if you look at it and you go like, mm -mm, then just wash it away and try another image. Or if you have a fold in it that's really awful. This is not permanent at this point. We're gonna make it permanent in our next step. But right now, this is just gonna dry for 24 hours and it's gonna go from a translucence to an opaque. So then we'll be able to prep it. Those little tiny folds, those little tiny wrinkles, they're gonna dry out and almost vanish, but if you have any bubbles, make sure that you push them out, just like that. So get rid of your bubbles, and leave the little creases, it doesn't matter, they won't even show. Let this dry for 24 hours. When we get back, I'll show you how to finish up this exquisite little project, complete with birds. <laughs> now what you have, is a glass plate, and this is a different one, I just wanted to show it to you in a larger size. So we've got a glass plate, it's now dry, so the artwork has gone from a bit more transparent now to an opaque finish. 
So what we do now is take uh, your palette or a dinner plate and cover it with plastic wrap. And then that way you're going to protect your plate from the paint that we're going to put on it. It makes cleanup so easy. And we're going to paint the back of this. Now I'm going to choose white. If this were a darker image that had lots of contrast or nuance with a little bit of white in it, I would probably use a black paint. But because this one is so light, I don't want to put black behind it because it actually may darken the image. So what I'm going to do is use titanium white paint, just spread it over the back of this plate. We're going to finish the edges and then we'll prep it for hanging on the wall. Now, as I said before, what I want you to do is to take your palette. This is my 20 year old tin one and I just cover it with plastic wrap so that when I want to clean it up, it's really easy. Just squirt it with a few drops of water, put your plastic on it, and it's ready to go. When choosing white paint for this project, I'm going to suggest that you use a top quality paint and make sure it's titanium white. Don't use the paint that's just going to pour out the thickness of glue. Get one that's nice, and heavy like this. This is available at any good arts and crafts store. And always with your jar of water nearby, take your white paint and starting in the center, use straight strokes up and down to cover the entire plate. So the few little tiny wrinkles in the decal have now been all covered up and this beautiful little painting just needs to dry for about 10-15 minutes and we'll be ready for the next step. Okay. Give this a little while to dry and then we can prep it for the wall. All that's left to do is really put a nice piece of black felt behind the image so that when you hang it on the wall, you're not going to scratch it. This is kind of a delicate thing. So I'm just going to put some tacky heavy glue on the back of this all finished plate, which is now dried and looks terrific. It's a really beautiful way behind that piece of glass to turn a sweet image that you can get from my website into a lovely piece of art. What a gift to give to somebody. What a beautiful piece to hang in the kitchen or the bathroom or any special place and make them in a few different sizes. You can get these plates in square, round, oval and lots of rectangles. Let's see how it looks on the wall. Thanks for watching. What's your green wish? Find out more at greenwish.com.